actually, this is one of these things that I couldn't resist doing. I'd taken a photograph of it, but I thought, you've got to see this wall. This is, <laughs> this is the Grey's Wall. This is, apparently this separates the, um, the uncivilised part of Grey's with the uncivilised part of Grey's. A bit like, you know, uh, Escape from New York keeps some people in and some people out. But anyway, it just goes on down here, like this. And I just thought we'd we'd walk down it. See, look, there's barbed wire up there. I can't see that because of the sun. But there's been artists here. Somebody there in 2007, clearly fighting for his freedom. Looks like a bus, I think. Is it a bus? W w windows there. It's actually just an awful lot of time spent here on this wall, painting. He's got all these like little windows here, doing stuff. And uh, I don't know. It's an amazing amount of effort involved in this. I'm sure there's uh, all kinds of people's tags. If anybody recognises their name, shout out. <laughs> but um, this is a great wall. The Great Wall of Greys, in fact. I'm sure it's got some other title or something like that. But it has all this amazing graffiti all the way along it, going down here. And at some point, what's going to happen is this complex on the other side will get knocked down and all this will be gone. So, the best thing to do is to catch see, catch see 2007. Maybe this was like a sponsored, there's an interesting bloke. Maybe this was like one of these sponsored things to keep youths out of prison or something. I don't know. It must have cost a lot in spray paint. I don't buy spray paint, you know. It's not one of those things that are on the, uh, the Tesco's list every week, or any week for that matter. <clears throat> but clearly this whole window thing, so maybe it's a window from one side to the other. Maybe to allow people to look through, or to look out. Or maybe it's blacked up windows because it's kind of pimp mobile. I don't really know. If anybody's got any ideas about this, you know, please comment below. But, um, what must it look like? Because over there, you see, over there is Kent, in it. So, so over there, this is like a sort of River Thames thing. And, uh, good lord, there's an enormously large boat thing there. Let's have a look at the enormously large boat thing. Can we zoom in on that? Yes, we can. There it is. One enormous large boat thing, and there's a little uh, little guy in a speedboat has just dropped somebody off on their little boat here <coughs> for a little Sunday after uh, Monday afternoon exercise. But that's uh, a big boat on the river, probably going back to Liberia or you know wherever it comes from. Oh, and there's another one there. Oh, there's another one there. Going to be clash of the boats here. Anybody know the rules for the rivers? What do they have to be? 25, 50 feet apart and... I don't know. I have no idea actually, I haven't a clue what I'm talking about. But, but you see, <clears throat> red boat there, big boat here. Small red boat there, big black and red boat there. Oh my god, they're getting closer, we're in the same picture. Oh my god, what's going to panic? Oh, just remember, don't panic. But above all,